So, you're thinking about getting started with couponing? Let me tell you. Think no more. Go ahead and get started. Take my advice on that. Go ahead and get started. I've been couponing for about six months and my only regret is that I didn't get started earlier. So, if you want to learn a, just a quick and easy way of how you can get started with couponing from one beginner to another, I can tell you some of the little, some of the little um, ins and outs and some tips and some tricks and some people that you need to watch so that you, be, you can save lots of money, then I want you to keep watching. And before we get started with this video, do me a favor, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that little bell so that every time I upload a video, you won't miss out. All right, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to get started is you're going to make sure that you have your um, different cards for each store that you want to start. Um, shop at I don't know what they call them like their uh, customer loyalty cards I think that's what they're called that's what they're called I'm sorry so this is one for Rite Aid this is one for Walgreens and then this is one for CVS so if you don't have these loyalty cards you need to get these first because that's the only way you're going to maximize the deals okay so then absolutely you know that you should purchase your newspapers so each week these inserts come inside of your sunday newspapers so this is the red plum this is one that normally comes and then this one is the let's see if you can see smart source okay so each week there's normally a red plum and a smart source in each newspaper your Sunday newspaper insert so it's late Sunday evening but it's not too late for you to get a newspaper if you want to get started because the fabulous thing about this week right here is that we actually got six inserts okay I'm gonna stand up so you can see now normally we normally only get two but this week was a fabulous week so we got three smart source inserts and we also got three red plum inserts so it's not too late to go to the grocery store or go to the um gas station or wherever you get your newspapers from even dollar tree sometimes sells them if you don't get them on a sunday night sometimes you can go to the actual um newspaper uh company or printers or whatever you want to call them and you go and they will sell them to you Normally, it's the regular price. They normally don't discount them when you buy them straight from them. So, okay. So, you got to have your loyalty cards. That's tip number one. And then also get your Sunday newspapers. Now, if you don't want to purchase a newspaper, call your neighbors, call your family, call your friends. It's a lot of people that have newspaper subscriptions and they don't know what to do with those coupons. And they, they honestly, they throw them away. All right. So, then the next thing that you're going to need to do is go ahead and invest in oh gosh let's see one of these it's like an accordion file thing and a binder okay so i use both i'm just going to show you my system of how i do it and it has really really worked for me the past six months okay so now i am not one of these people that sit here and cut out every single coupon every sunday i don't do that it's just too much work but um when i started i saw a video by uh, a group called the crazy coupon ladies and what they did was they purchased these accordion files and if you look at my, I just went ahead and I did mine like for the year. So I have already have all of the dates for the coupons. All right. Because what you don't do is you don't throw these inserts away. Not for at least six months. Okay. So because I made that mistake one time and you miss out on money when you throw your inserts away. So in this accordion file, look back. I'm going to see if I can get you back to the back. These are some of the coupons that... um. Uh, some of the inserts back in the back that I actually still have from 2017 because there are some coupons in there from November 
and December that I can still use. They have not expired yet. So I just put those to the back of my binder or my accordion file system so that I can make room for the new one. So what I will do is each week, if you can see, I put the date. I put the date on each of the uh, inserts, okay? So that way when I put them into the file, if I'm looking for smart source 17, not 18, I just put it in there and here it is. It's very easy for me to find. And the reason why I do it that way is because a lot of times when you're watching couponers, they'll tell you um, what coupon you need to use for each item. So they'll say this coupon is found in the 1231 Red Plum. So you know to go get your 1231 Red Plum and find that coupon. And that saves a lot of time from cutting everything out. All right. So then the other thing I do have is a coupon binder. Now my coupon binder is kind of small because most of my coupons are in here. And I'm going to tell you by the end of the year, this thing is so thick. The only suggestion or tip I would give you is get a bigger one. This one is like the medium sized one. It's not, you know, it's not that big. Get the largest one that you can get. All right. Cause this got to be a little tight. Um, I just cleaned it out like last week. So inside my coupon binder, because the next tip I want to give you is that when you go to the store, make sure that you are organized. Okay, because couponing can be kind of hectic and kind of stressful. So to take some of that off of you, you just need to be organized and have your stuff together when you go into the store. Okay, so um, I just have a, a Staples Better Binder. I love these binders and... I use my labeler. My late my kids bought me a label maker for um, Christmas, so I use that to label this. I just made these off of my computer, and inside I have just a pencil case. You know, like a school supply pencil case. Inside I have a highlighter, a sharpie pen, a scissors, and I also normally keep an ink pen in there. And uh, I normally keep a, a pad in there, but I think somebody must have came and took my pad out. I think my husband took my pad out to write a quick note, but I'm going to go downstairs and get that. But I normally keep a little notepad in here, and I keep that with me all the time, okay? So then the next thing I have is another one of these zipper pouches. And what I do is when you start couponing, like this is at CVS. I have two loyalty cards for CVS. I have one for myself and then I have one for my daughter who is in college. So that I won't get mixed up <laughs> with my card and her card. This little zipper case has two parts. So in the front, I have my stuff. And in the back, I have her CVS things. And I actually keep her card in here. And then I also just put some other little things in here from Walgreens. Because normally I don't have a lot of... Um, information or coupons from CVS for her card so I can multitask in this section and I put my uh what do they call um uh, register rewards no this is Rite Aid's um my register reward coupon from Rite Aid or Walgreens something like that this one happens to be from Rite Aid this is another coupon that you can spend so I got ten dollars to spend at Rite Aid all right so I just kind of keep like the little store coupons like this right here is what I call CVS money. This is extra care bucks. All right. So this is CVS money that they gave back to me that I can spend on whatever I like. Okay. So then next what I like to do is go in with a plan. So this was a plan that I made. It was a Google Doc that I created of a scenario of when I went to Dollar General, what I wanted to do what items I wanted to buy, what coupons I needed. If you see right here, let's see, um, right here. So I was going to get on this week uh, two packs of Angel Soft, and I was going to use the dollar off coupons that was in the 910 Red Plum, okay? So I didn't have to worry about cutting anything out when it was time for me to use my coupon. I just found it in the accordion. Remember, I already have them labeled by the date, and I just looked through the inserts and cut them out. So that saves me a lot of time from cutting out coupons that I know I'm not going to use. All right, another thing that I do is uh, there's a YouTuber on here, and I'll put her name in the, in the description box. And her name is Savvy Coupon Shopper. She does the CVS 
five must do deals every week she normally does cvs and sometimes she does walgreens but definitely cvs now i'm going to tell you these things are so amazing because for a beginner you can print this out and you go into the store and she tells you exactly what to do so you're going to grab the, this week it was Colgate Total Advance. Now this was the week. This was from a couple of weeks ago, okay? But she does this every week. She she in fact has one up for this week right here. Um, She tells you exactly what to buy, how much it's going to cost, which coupon to use. See, $2 off Colgate coupon in the 910 Smart Source. That's why you have to label those inserts. She tells you how much you're going to pay. And then here it says get back a $2 EBC. ECB. That's this thing right here. This is that's two dollars extra care bucks. All right, so that's money you can spend on your next transaction. And so I like to keep everything in my binder, to keep it together so that I won't lose it. You know, because it's real easy to lose receipts and things like that if you're not organized. But I like to take this in the store with me so that I don't have to worry about uh you know what am I buying? I don't have to worry about forgetting things. All right, so then that's that's in the and that's why I keep it in the front of my binder so that I don't have to be flipping through. It's right there. I know exactly what I'm coming to the store for. All right, so now sometimes you will have other items that um you know you find coupons for on other sites like maybe coupons.com or colgate.com or healthyessentials.com and you may have to print those out. What we call IPs. IP stands for Internet Printable. So I just made made little sections and what I do is I keep my coupons, you know, I keep them in here and this is one I cut out of the newspaper, but I know I'm going to use that. So I have another section for tissue and paper towel. Now you can make your categories um, fit your lifestyle. Okay. Laundry, dish detergent, personal care items. Oral care. Now, see, I had to make another one for this because at first I only had personal care items, but then I noticed this this was too much. So um I had to make an oral care too because I couldn't combine the oral care and the personal care items because it's, it was just too many coupons. So I made another um tab for this or another cover. All right, because you can see, like, I got a lot of coupons in there for oral care. All right, feminine care. I couldn't combine that with the personal care products. Um, makeup, medication, and then I have one for just miscellaneous items. Now, I can tell you this. I really need to make another insert or another um, cover for baby products because there are a lot of coupons that I do use for baby products. So, that is one I do need to make another um, insert. And I just got the little paper covers from... Um, I think I got these from Walgreens, you know, the little plastic sleeves to just keep things in. And um, this is food. Now, I do not know how to coupon that well with food yet. So, um, I basically started couponing with just household items. And that has seemed to work for me. So, maybe I will transition into learning how to do more with the foods. Okay. So, now, in the last section of my binder, I have store policies if you look on my um page you'll see some videos that i had i had some major issues with dollar general when i first started couponing and i had to print out their policy and take it with me because if they act crazy <laughs> i'm just gonna say well your policy says um so always print out the store policies so that if the cashier you know is just um she doesn't understand the store policy. You can nicely, you know, show them in black and white what the policy states. And if they still don't adhere to it, then you can just, you can call corporate. You know, you don't have to be nasty about it. You you know, it's always a, a way to handle things because your cashiers are your, are your best friends. Okay. So then in this little folder right here, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little zip. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. It's a little zip thing. Let's see if I can zip it. What I do is... In here is I keep the weekly sales ads. So right now I got the Rite Aid ad in there. And I think I got the Walgreens. I don't have the Walgreens ad. But this little booklet. The IC, ICV booklet I think it is from Walgreens. That they have coupons in here. So I always grab one of those every month. And just keep it. So each week I um, put the new um, 
flyers, the new in, uh, flyers from the store, the marketing flyers. So, and then the last thing that I have in here, and I got to find a better way of keeping it. So this is one of those uh, bill organizers, but I'm not using it for that. You know, the main purpose of couponing is to save money, right? So this year, I want to do a better job of keeping up with how much money I'm really, really saving. So what I've been doing in here is I just put all of my receipts. I just put my receipts in there. So that's what I've been using this one for. Just my receipts. Okay. All right. So that is um about it. As to how I organize my um, coupons and what I take with me when I go to the store. Now, let me give you this tip right here. Guys, I take these two items right here. I take them everywhere with me. When I walk out the house, I take this because it has all my coupons and all my inserts, even though they may not be cut out. That's all right, because what do I have in here? I got a scissors right there, okay? I take this stuff with me everywhere I go. I learned the hard way because sometimes you'll be out and about and a deal will come up and then you don't have your coupons, you know? So I always, look, never leave home without your coupons, okay? So, because sometimes you'll be in the store, you'll see something on clearance and you're like, man, I don't have it. You will miss out on a major deal if you don't have your stuff. So like the Bible say, be ye always ready, okay? So always have your coupons with you. Just keep them in the trunk of your car or whatever. My kids know when I walk out the door, when I go to work, I grab all my stuff. But I'm grabbing my um file, my file um thing, whatever you want to call this thing right now. I'm lost for words. And my binder, and I am out the door. Okay, so my last tip for you tonight, guys, is for you to have a space already ready where you know that you are going to store your items that you got from your couponing, okay? So here I have my little area of where I have my stockpile. This used to be my kids' play area. Notice I say used to be. It used to be my kids' play area, but now it's more so my work area and where I do my couponing, all right? Right now I have some paper goods right there and I have lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, I'm kind of rebuilding because I gave away a lot of stuff for the Christmas um, holidays for, for gifts and things like that. But I am rebuilding. So find a good place where you can store all of this stuff. All of this Look at this. Most of this toothpaste, y'all, was free. Absolutely free. So, all right. Like I said, if you haven't gotten started with couponing, what are you waiting for? Um, I will see you guys at the next video. You guys have a blessed night or day whenever you're watching this video. Just be blessed.